The 1970s. Platform shoes, long hair and flares. Tank tops, maxi skirts and bright shirts. Slade, Sweet and T-Rex topped the charts, as well as the Carpenters, Mud and Gary Glitter. People didn't seem to have a care. But then there was the three-day week. Britain joined the EEC. Some felt this shouldn't be the path that the country followed. Decimalisation changed the currency. Heath clashed with the miners and they went on strike. Bombs were exploding in Northern Ireland. And the USA was still in Vietnam, wanting her to become like Uncle Sam. Nixon was disgraced by Watergate, was replaced by Gerald Ford, and the Cold War was abated by detente. Love Story was on at the cinema, new faces made unknowns into stars, and Shaft was a TV hero. Muhammad Ali won many fights, and he talked on Parkinson about the nation of Islam. At the Munich Olympics, some Israelis were shot dead, but the games continued nevertheless, although the Israeli tragedy was publicised greatly by television news and the press. Arthur Ashe was the first black player to win Wimbledon in 1975. Borg dominated the game in the mid and late 70s, while Olga was the prodigy of gymnastics. Her performance was filled with so much drive. The beetle was in vogue, and so was the chopper bike. And then there was a craze for the skateboard, which some parents couldn't afford to buy their children. Punk blasted like a rocket onto the scene. Spiked hair and piercing became the fashion, and punks appeared on TV who didn't sing but screamed. Some felt that they were really obscene. There was the Silver Jubilee when many held street parties, but this time of glee was ended by the winter of discontent, and Thatcher and the decade of greed was on the horizon. <laughs>